Okay. Hi. You can see this is a little bit different deliberately. Uh, there will be kind of some educational content in this video, but you can see it's mostly just a vlog. So feel free to skip if that's not what you're here for. Uh, some may have noticed there's been a bit of a gap between the last few logic videos, and this is quite true. And although partly it's because I've had more classes and I've had to focus on that, I would like to say it's just that, but my mind has been kind of slipping away from the logic series because I'm having that great self doubt that we all know and love where, oh, can I do this? Am I able to do it? Am I doing a good job at it? And do people really like it? I mean, there are people still watching it and I'm not looking for validation from the audience. I'm not really a community kind of guy. I'm not that social. I don't want to pretend otherwise, but but it's enough to know that there are now over 2,000 people who've decided to subscribe to the educational content that I'm putting out occasionally. Um, but I just want to say I do want to finish the logic series. I want to go through all of the Newton Smith book uh, and put it into the format of these videos. Um, and, and then if there's any other subjects that people want me to cover, I would like to get into that. I will shout out a couple of other YouTube channels in the meantime. I've been using them to kind of get my ideas clear and that's Trev Tutor and also Attic Philosophy. Both of those uh, channels have done great work on logic that has been helpful to me um, as I try and go through it. But I am going to continue with the logic series, as I say, and I'm going to get back into the reading and catch up and put some notes down for logic six over the Christmas period. Funny story, but logic five was basically completely written uh, for about three months before I actually recorded it. And then it sat recorded for almost another month before I actually did anything with it. And once I got to that point, um, it's fairly quick. The editing on, on the Logic videos is, is comparatively straightforward and it came out quite quickly after that. But this is just goes to show sometimes we have a project that we want to do and we know we want to do it and we have good reasons for wanting to do it and we just allow our psychology to take us away from that goal because, oh, we're not the right person to do it or, oh, we've got all these other things to focus on. Oh, it's just a bit much to deal with right now. And, you know, while that has happened to me this year and it will no doubt happen again at some point, I'm sure it's happened to anyone watching this as well or almost anyone watching this. And if that is the case, if you resonate with that, then let me take this opportunity to say that whatever project that you've got sitting on the back burner, uh, and have had sitting there for however long, uh, maybe just do a little bit, just a teeny tiny little bit, uh, just, to, just to start building some momentum because that is definitely something I found in when it comes to getting a video out, sooner or later it has enough momentum that you know it's got to come out. Um, and this was the, true for Logic 5, um, even though I was kind of keeping it on the back burner, um, I didn't I knew I didn't want to just let it drop and I knew I didn't want to just let the series drop. I still intend to go through all of the Newton Smith book on logic uh, and I hope you will stick around for that. But I'm sorry in advance if there are any more breaks in production. Uh, however, apart from that, wherever you are, happy holiday season and a happy new year for 2023. Let's hope it's a good one for all of us and see you next time.